welcome to my channel I'm a trade universe today in this video I am going to talk about the super headline radio receiver using the once popular L-board radio this is an L-board radio to which external radio components are wired in place to build a radio receiver you can use this radio to tune to different local and international broadcast radio stations the radio can be tuned to different frequencies on bands such as medium wave short wave etc let us build the circuit and make this radio live once again. The elbow radio is based on the superheterodyne technique of radio reception. It is also called the superhead radio. Here the radio receiver uses the frequency mixing technique to convert the radio signal received from the antenna to a fixed intermediate frequency signal. This intermediate frequency is lower in frequency than the carrier signal and it can be conveniently processed than the actual radio signal. Most of the modern radio receivers use the superheterodyne technique for radio reception. Block diagram of a superheterodyne radio receiver. There are many functional circuit blocks in a superheterodyne radio receiver. The three different frequency stages that are present in a superheterodyne radio receiver are the radio frequency stage, intermediate frequency stage and the audio frequency stage. The radio frequency stage receives the signal from the antenna. It collects or tunes to the radio signal of a desired frequency from the antenna and mixes with a locally generated oscillator signal in a single transistor mixer oscillator stage. This stage operates as an oscillator mixer which functions as an oscillator as well as a mixer. These signals mix with each other and produce signals at different frequencies such as the local oscillator signal plus IF frequency and the local oscillator signal minus IF frequency. The input RF filter is adjusted so that it removes the signal corresponding to the local oscillator signal minus IF frequency. The output signal of the oscillator mixer stage is converted or heterodyned into an intermediate frequency signal at 455 kHz. The output signal from the oscillator mixer stage is then amplified using a 455 kHz intermediate frequency amplifier. The intermediate frequency amplifier has two stages of amplification which provides adequate amplification of the radio signal. It also has an AGC section which manages the fading characteristics of a radio signal. At the output of the final IF amplifier stage, the signal is demodulated using an envelope detector. The envelope detector demodulates the amplitude modulated radio wave into its corresponding audio signal. The weak demodulated audio signal is then amplified using an audio preamplifier stage. The output of the audio preamplifier stage is then fed to a power amplifier. Here the audio signal is further amplified. The output from the audio power amplifier is fed to a loudspeaker. The loudspeaker converts the audio signal from the power amplifier into sound waves.